Hello, Glenn here from Digital Photography Courses. So I often get the question, how do you move folders um, from uh, within Lightroom onto another computer? So this is something that you might need to do if your computer hard drive is getting full and you'd like to move them onto an external hard disk or um, maybe you want to back them up. And uh, like a lot of things, there's a correct way to do it and an incorrect way. So what I've got here is a folder um, from a few pictures from a course and what we want to do is we want to move this folder so let's say we no longer need it or it's just taking up space we don't need but we don't want to delete them so we're going to move this onto an external drive now the external drive could be um, a four terabyte hard disk drive or whatever or a server or it, in this case I'm just going to be using a USB drive but the principle is exactly the same so the first thing we need to do is we need to locate the file. We're going to do it the wrong way first of all, and I'll show you how to fix it, and then we're going to do it the correct way. So uh, we've, first of all, we need to go and find the folder in Explorer or in Finder. So if we right click on the folder structure in Lightroom, we can say show in Explorer, and there's our folder in Explorer. And what we want to do is we want to move this to an external hard drive. And as I say, at the moment, I've just got an external hard drive. Uh, it's a USB drive, but this could be, uh, you know, your external backup drive or whatever. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this from here to the external drive. Now, what I'm doing is I'm left clicking and dragging. This is on a PC and you notice it says copy to recordings so that's the name of this usb drive <clears throat> but if i was to copy this then i end up with a copy here on my usb drive or on my external hard drive and i also end up with the original folder still taking up space on the computer so working on the assumption that we're actually trying to save space on the computer then we're going to move it now if you this was a backup then you would choose the copy option but if we're actually trying to move it, which is what we're doing in this occasion, is we're now going to right click, drag it, and it still says copy to recordings. But when I release, I get the option to copy or move. So on this occasion, I want to move it because, um, you know, I want to move, save some space on my local computer. So there's not too many files in here, so it should trans go over quite quickly. And here we go. There in a few seconds. So just to reiterate, if you copy, that is effectively a backup and you have a version on your computer and also a version on your external hard drive. If you move, which is what we're doing at the moment, then in a second you'll see it disappear from my computer, which is in my picture folder here. There you see it disappeared. And you can see I actually did do a copy of this um, just so that uh, I've got one. So we can now go back to Lightroom. And when we look in the file structure in Lightroom for that same folder, you can see that now we get this question mark. And the question mark, basically, if you click on the folder, it says find missing folder. So this is Lightroom's way of saying, hang on a minute, mate, you moved this folder, but you didn't tell me where you moved it to. So I'm a bit confused. And if you look at your images, each image has a little photo is missing asterisk. Now, Interestingly enough, if you double click on the photograph, you can see a preview. But if you look over here, there's no information on the histogram. OK, if I go to the develop module, you'll see it says file could not be found. And all these boxes are grayed out because what we're looking at here is actually just a preview. We're not looking at the original files. OK, so. What we need to do is we need to go to Lightroom and say, hang on, mate, we're really sorry. We shouldn't have done that. We shouldn't have moved that folder uh, without telling you. So I tell you what, we're going to right click and we're going to choose find missing folder. Uh, and then we can navigate down to our drive. There's our folder. We can double click. We can choose a select folder. And now if you look in your original, it's just coming over there. It's grayed out for a second. There we go. If you look in your original file structure, that folder will now be missing because it's moved. And if you look now under here where it says recordings H, there you go. There's our folder. So 
that is how if you've moved folders and uh, is how to reconnect them now lightroom is actually quite clever if you moved multiple folders over it would actually say hang on i found these other folders as well would you like me to reconnect those as well so you know if you move your pictures this way it's not the end of the world we can soon put them right okay now uh i actually didn't want them here so what i could do is i could delete all this and go through this process all over again but what i'm going to do quite simply is i want to put this back in my pictures folder so all i'm going to do is click on the name and we're going to drag all the way up to pictures now i know it was in my it was directly under my pictures there we go and i can just click drag it there now when you do this you will get this message which is quite scary it says moving files on disk this will cause the corresponding files on disk to be moved. If you proceed, neither this nor the move or any changes you made prior to this move can be undone. What do you want to do? Move or cancel? Well, to be honest, we still want to move it. All this is really saying to you is you cannot press undo or you cannot go control Z and undo what you've done. You know, the move is just going to go ahead. A bit scary, but we want to just click on move. OK, and you'll see now it says moving folder because it's basically taking the pictures from the external drive and it's putting them back in the pictures folder on my local drive. OK, so it's coming over here and what we should see if I scroll down because it's already started to work. Uh, now, the way that Lightroom files things, you may have noticed it files numbers first and then uh, sort of words after. And here you can see our folder coming back, 17, 18, 19. So you can see there it's actually counting up as the image come over, images come over. So there we go. They are now back in our um, on our C drive or in my case on our D drive. And they're now in that folder there. Scroll down, there we go, and there's the folder again, and everything's tickety boo. So, you've probably already sussed this out now because I moved images from the external drive onto this drive, so that is actually the correct way to move your folders over. Okay, so only thing is that we look is you'll notice that now we've moved it, I no longer have my external drive showing yeah i've got a couple of drives here but these are actually my backup drives um, and my uh, sort of uh, pictures drives here but you see that one that we had previously is not showing so we need now to go and find that uh, drive now to do that we need to go and add um, a folder and uh, to do that, we come up to the topic where it says folders and we go on click here and we say add a folder. And then we navigate to our recordings drive and we select the folder. And we get this message. Yeah. Um, now, and there it is, there's recordings. Now, this is a peculiarity. What we actually need to do is you cannot go directly to the root of a drive. So if I just cancel out of this, OK, and I go back to my C drive, oh, sorry, not my C drive, my external drive, and I right click and go new folder. And I can sort of call this now um, my old, let's make some name up, my old Picks. Yeah, whatever. And we'll just fix. Oops, it's got old wrong. There we go. F2, my old picks. That'll do. Great stuff. And we close that. Now, when we go and choose add folder, I can go to plus, add folder, navigate to the drive, go my old picks, select. And now you'll notice when I scroll down here, that's what I can do. I can just close this actually for a second. There we go and close the pictures one. And there you'll see there's your drive. There's your external drive. Okay. And in there, you've got a folder called my old pics. 
So now what we can do is go from pictures Lightroom our photography course here and we can drop it into my old pics and I get that message again and we say move There we go, and there they go, and you can see them, they'll be counting up here in a second. There it goes, so there's our folder, and you can see the images counting up and appearing. So that is the correct way of doing it, because what's gonna happen now is they're gonna move from my local hard drive, and they're going to go onto my external hard drive, uh, And but because we did it from within Lightroom, then Lightroom knows we did that and everything will be tickety-boo. So if you're if those pictures are in any collections or if they are, um, um, you know, sort of in a book or something like that, then Lightroom knows where they are and it will keep a record of that move. Whereas if you move them outside, then Lightroom can have problems. OK, so that's basically how to move um, uh, your images. But you need to move them into a folder rather than into um, uh, it onto sort of the root of a drive, if you like. OK, um, just while I've got those, um, those same pictures, let me just go down to that drive again. And uh, let me just go right the way to the top. We'll close this folder. We'll go and have a look at our recordings folder. There we go, this one here. So just for the sake of argument, let's say we wanted to add all of these pictures to a collection, maybe so that we could, um, so it's a slightly different subject, uh, added these to a collection so that we could upload them maybe to the internet to show our friends or something like that. Then what we can do is we can uh, select the pictures we want to upload. I could select them all. I might just select a couple. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, add these to a collection. So to add these to a collection, then what we do is we click on collection. We go create collection. And I'll just call it uh, test files. There we go. And we don't want to make virtual copies but we do want to include selected photographs. Um, now, if it's likely we'll be adding extra pictures into this collection, so maybe we're going to get flowers from other folders, then uh, we could also include those as well um, by setting this to target collection. And then anything we add to a collection will go into the target collection. And the most important thing is we need to sync with Lightroom. Now, this only is available if you are connected to your Lightroom account. So if you're not logged into Lightroom, you will not be able to tick this or see this. And you, so you need to make sure you're logged in. So um, I'm going to call this test flowers. Uh, in fact, let's call it collection as well, just so we know. There we go. And create. So there we are. They are now in a collection called uh, test flowers collection. So let's go down here and have a look test flowers collection and what it is is we've uh, you'll see there to the side of this this sort of arrow with uh, sort of Z type arrow on its side and these are being synced with Lightroom and if I come over to the here to the top right and go to sync resume syncing there we go it is now syncing any photographs that haven't already been updated and synced to the cloud and i will be able to log into my cloud account so adobe uh, lightroom cc or on my ipad or something like that and i'll be able to see that collection in my collection of images uh, on the ipad okay so quite a lot covered there how to move images from uh, the wrong way to do it. So basically you move them from Explorer or from Finder, and then you have to go and reconnect. Or the better way to do it is actually move them from within Lightroom, from the folder structure, and drag them over, just simply drag and drop. And the great way of that is Lightroom would know if uh, you would had things in the collection and they would still uh, be updated and everything would be updated. Okay, so hope that was helpful. Uh, Hope to see you again soon. All the best and um, bye for now.